I tried your cell. Didn't pick up. Yeah. I lost it yesterday on the bridge. Yeah, work said you went home early. Supposed to go inside and figure things out. Lucas, how long do you suppose that takes to figure things out? Lola Wiles died, Lucas. I made contact. Do I smell? Yeah, a little bit. You know, usually you smell quite low there. What shampoo do you use? I need new clothes. Dude, you could open a Banana Republic out of your closet. Go get a pair of pants. I can't. He locked me out. What? Look. Never mind. Fletcher, don't. He'll start singing. Who? The lawn jock. He knows I'm trying to rub him out. So he's locked himself in your bedroom. Every time I try to get in, he starts singing Billy Joel songs. He knows that was Julie's and my thing. The piano man. Don't start, Fletcher. Fletcher, don't. You can't get in. Got a call from a friend. We used to be real close. Said he couldn't go on the American way. Quit his job, sold the house, bought a ticket for the West Coast. Now he gives him a stand-up routine in L.A. I don't need you to worry for me, cause I'm all right. I don't need you to tell me it's time to come home. I don't care, care what you say, say anymore, anymore. This, this is, is my life. life. Go, Go ahead, ahead with your, with own, your life, own life, but leave me, leave me alone. alone. I never said I was a victim of circumstance. I never said I was a... Do you go in there and get a pair of pants? Lock you out of your bedroom, no, no. crappy pants. Don't you ever want to hear what happened to me last night? Do you have my ukulele? Why would I have your ukulele? I thought you got it from Lola. I got your tuba from Lola. Yeah, right. How's that going? I don't care for that instrument. Oh, crap. Maybe Miles has my ukulele. That'd be good. I have to see him anyway. Did you ever learn how to play any instrument? Any instrument? No. I could always play the ukulele and the trumpet at the same time and then stomp on a tambourine with my foot. What, do you, what is all this for? Molly wants to start up Sunday Croquet. And have Bagelish to sponsor it. And, I mean, it's a publicity stunt, and I feel like a total sellout. She's so darn cute. You 
think if I play for another few minutes at once, she might put on the skating outfit. Man, I'd settle for just the skates. My man, showing signs of life. You done painting? Yeah, this is for Molly too. She's turning the Big Licious into a gallery cafe. Do you ever feel like you're an episode of Saved by the Bell? Zach and the gang have to zany scheme to save the bagel shop? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what we'll do to get into a gal's sequined leotard. Mm. Speaking of scoring, I went to Thole. Is she with Zen? Corey Zen? Are you kidding me? Dude, Zen owns Bagelicious. My Bagelicious? Mm -hmm. Molly told me the owner was like this close to closing that place down. Yep. And then he rides in, opens his big fat wallet for her great ideas. Well, they are great ideas. I mean, Sunday... You're missing the point. Corey's in. is skating on your rink. All right, Fletcher. I think Another man is looking to sharpen her skates. All right, give me a break. He's taking out the Zamboni. Oh. Dude, sweet beaver. I got to make like a baby and head out. After graduating summa cum laude, he started driving the tour train and has since become the most requested guide in the history of the company. I mean, actually, before this, nobody had ever requested a specific train driver. He's even been known to get a Christmas card or two from former passengers. He says what he likes best about the driving the train is the educational aspects of it. It's his job to enlighten tourists on the rich history of our little town. He's even been known to get a Christmas card or two from former passengers. It's about time everybody 